Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video tutorial. Today in this tutorial I'll just be covering over some really cool elements I made in Blender. Um, so it's literally inspired by the uh, game by Us2, uh, Monument Valley. So just made some of these elements and I'll be explaining and demonstrating on how I made these elements. It's not a fully fledged tutorial. Um, I'll be explaining elements like um, how I made this, these, and just talking through some basic design stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to save this. Um, so I can render this out later for the uh, thumbnail. So, uh, the first tip I'd like to go over is the camera. The camera is positioned in an isometric view, which I got from Pig Art. Which, um, if you hit N on your keyboard, you want to change the location to 12, minus 12, 12, the rotation to 54, 0, 45. Then you want to change the camera lens to orthographic. And now, that's good get rid of this default, um, actually don't get rid of it, we'll just change it into a sun. And with the sun, change cycles, um, I used 0 0.1 for our shadows, you can also use 0 0.03, adds an also really nice effect, and strength of 2. So I'll go something like that. Now with modelling the elements, as you noticed, I had roofs and also the pillars. So the pillars were just simple cubes, scaled like that. Now I'm going to talk to you to make the R. Um, subdivide the top here. And I'm going to select, are uh, you hitting C, those points here, and hit E to extrude and drag those up. Back into the top view now. So we've, then I'm going to select all this stuff in the center. There, actually, there, and we literally are going to hit E and click, then pull down. E can click scale, E click, and pull down. So that made our little platform inside. And for the roof, I'm adding a cube, scaling it down. Scale on the z-axis, move it around in line. Now to do this, I'm going to go into edit mode, change it to vertices, and hit B on our keyboard. And I'm just going to select the top two vertices. Go into Z. Select the top two. Now I'm going to hit E. Scale. E. Scale E, scale E, scale E, continue doing this until you reach some sort of point, like so. And you can make really You can make really awesome shapes with this. I've made, as you can see, every time I do this, I create something different and interesting. So you can change this. I like it like that. I'm just going to pull this down a bit. 
and it looks really good actually we'll just change it back up there um so you can make all different shapes with this another cool tip um when making something similar to like monument valley um is all these decorative pieces these like squares and, like we can have it in reeds or also i also like this when it's scaled up quite a thick band and what you want to do with these is you want to get a cylinder um, with quite a few and you select the top here and you click E scale E and we literally just want to hit X, delete that face, and select that face, delete. Okay, so now we've just got this really nice top face here. And we're just going to scale this down. So it's like a ring RX90. And we'll just add a array modifier. RZ90. Bring it forth. Move it across to the center. Looking good. So uh, another decorative piece are obviously the doors so to do these I'm just going to add a cube scale it on the x-axis and on the z-axis bring it down okay for the doors, depending on where you want them, I'm just going to bring this there. Now I'm going to add a boolean modifier. What cube is this? Cube 6. So I'm going to select cube 6. I'm going to hit apply on intersect. There we go, intersect. Now I'm, with this same cube, I'm going to scale it on the z axis to make a flat plane. And bring it in line and then scale it on the y-axis to make a bridge now that should be done so it looks really good so far um, another technique that they use here is for the backgrounds so we're going to get plane we're going to then also rotate it from 54045 and bring it back and bring it back and bring it down and scale it. Now we're just going to move this light somewhere like that. And for materials, it's really up to you. What I did in that previous model just there is I got the, I um, sampled the colors from the actual game, and that made it look really good. Um, other than that, that's sort of the basic stuff. Monumentally has heaps of stuff like stairs, um, which simple cubes to stagger down. Um, for those and also the curves I believe um, you can do that by again adding cube and cutting it using the boolean um, to make the curves etc most of it's just simple cylinders and curve uh, cylinders and cubes and you can create some really really awesome artwork so this is basically um, a very basic 
isometric uh, Monument Valley theme tutorial. So, hope you enjoy. So, thank you very much for watching. No, it's not the best tutorial ever, but um, I have some relatives down this week, um, so I didn't really have major time to do it as I wanted to spend time with them. Um, other than that, I shall catch you in my next tutorial. Bye.